Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong. Welcome to the back of this show. We're going to do an inspection video. And the reason it's an inspection video rather than a repair video is I don't have the shell for this Nintendo DS. It is broken. You can see the hinge has been somewhat uh, damaged. But the reason I'm more concerned is that it doesn't come on. Um, I know that the uh, screen and hinge was fine in terms of operation, but now it's um, not coming on at all which is a bit of a worry. So I've ordered a new shell for it, but I didn't know whether or not I needed to order a new battery. Um, I should have probably waited to do the inspection first before ordering the new parts, just in case it's totally dead. But I'm just going to try to see what's what's up with it. So I've taken the cartridge out. In fact, I'll take both. Don't mess with those. So this is the battery bay. And if you've never changed your battery on your DS, then you could see, think of this as a how to change the battery as well. That will that work for you. So just a sort of visual inspection of the battery. It, it looks fine. It's not bulging in any way. It's sort of completely intact. It's making good contact. I can't see anything obvious, to be honest, with it, wrong with this. So what we'll do is we're going to take our multimeter put it on the voltage range. Let's see if there's just any juice at all in this battery. Hmm. 3.96 volts. And this is a 3.7 volt battery. So the chances are this should work. This should work. So when you put that back in, let's pop that in. I'm just going to sort of loosely hold it in and wiggle it about by hand so I can just get a bit more pressure. Yeah, but when I push power on this DS, I'm not getting anything. So I'm just going to do another quick test. Let's just check that the uh, power supply is working. The power supply is plugged in. I'm just going to put the probes on. 5.39 volts, okay. And what we could do, we can take the battery out, put the power lead on, just see if we're measuring anything on the battery. Not seeing anything sort of get through to the battery. I don't know if that's just a. I can't get my probes in there. So it's, it's very odd actually, very odd. So. I feel perhaps we just need to just do that one little bit level. It's kind of a, trying to avoid it because I'd have to then take this apart again, but I've never done this before, so we'll just see what we can do. Just see if superficially there's anything obvious in there. Looking at this, in the battery bay, there's that little red sticker. I don't know if that's sort of significant of anything. Does it signify water damage, anything like that? So two screws so far, two the same length, fortunately. So this was my first uh, DS. I bought this when it actually was released, to be honest. I remember just getting it with Super Mario, and it was uh, wonderful. I really, uh, I really enjoyed it. It's uh, probably my favorite of the Nintendo systems. I still actually use a 3DS today. Um, but it's sort of a toss-up routine, that really, my Game Boy uh, SP. I really like the Advance, but the SP is pretty good. But that, the old screens are starting to, starting to be a little, wear a bit thin, really. So there's a screw in there as well, but I don't know if you're really supposed to get at it. Uh, probably not. You probably don't need to. Look at that. That comes off nicely, doesn't it? Is that the Wi-Fi module? Ooh. So the power comes in here, and it looks like there's a sort of diode here and a fuse. Look, a fuse F2. So what we could do is we can try to see if our fuse is fuse-edited. Oh, I'm not seeing any. Uh continuity through that fuse. So some sort of inductor there. So that's a bit of a worry. That sort of implies to me that there uh, 
could be bad things going on with this fuse. So whether or not that fuse is in circuit though with the charging or actually just in circuit with the whole battery, I'm not sure. There's the battery there. In fact, we can probe this out with two, two seconds of probing. Yeah, it does actually. That's why no charge is getting to the battery because that fuse could be naff. So what I need to do is actually figure out what is the rating of Fuse F2 on the Game Boy. Right, the internet reckons that Fuse F2, which is this one right here, is rated for one whole amp, which is a bit high, I think, but that's fine. <laughs> so all I've got though, I'm gonna use rather, is some 30 AWG Kynar, which should be rated at maximum at 0.6 amps. That's all I've got. That's all we're going to use. So I'm just going to strip a piece of that off, turn my soldering iron on, and we're going to attempt to get in there rather gingerly and lift this fuse out. Let's see if we can get that off. Oh, there's a spring there. I don't want to lose that. Ugh. Ah! Don't lose the spring! So I'm just going to use my soldering iron. I'm not going to use any sort of flux or mess around with it. I'm just going to try to float off that fuse with a blob of solder. Can't find the end of my reel. There it is. So there may, if that's an F2, there might be an F1 on this board somewhere. I'll have to go looking for it. It's quite a lot of these uh, sort of stickers I've noticed, like this one here. They must be ones that just sort of detect whether or not they've been dunked in moisture or water. So the soldering iron is at now 485 degrees C. Just give it a little clean. Just give it a little clean. So F2, we don't need it F2 once we're done with this. So There it goes, it's off. So F2 is stuck there on the tip of the soldering iron. See it, little speck, clean that off. It's almost dust at that point, never gonna retrieve it anyway. So I'm just going to touch up the pads. So maybe this should be a, more of a, a teardown lab how to repair your fuse on your DS video. So uh, I, might, I might title it as such. So I'm going to make this really, really fun to see actually. I'm going to, I'm going to take, take our fuse wire and I'm going to bend it into a little loop or crescent or something so that we can actually see it as a loop on the board when I solder it down. And then we're going to cut it. I'm keeping it on the roll so I can sort of control it as I put it down. So that's one side done. Not sure. Let's see. Let, I'll let the camera catch up and focus in on that while I try to find my tweezers. Ah, there we go. So I'm just going to get in there with tweezers now. So you can just about see, hopefully, there's a little U-shaped loop of wire. And that's going to be our fuse. And it's quite handy. If you ever want to figure out um, what different gauges of wire do in terms of fusing and current load capacity, go, on, go online, Google that, because it's kind of useful. Sometimes you just don't have the right fuse but you do have the right bit of fuse wire or a fuse you know right gauge of wire you can use as a fuse is that a solder jumper look at that is that a sl1 solder jumper there so we'll get our meter again now we certainly should be seeing some interesting continuity now to the other side so our battery now is going through so I think that the power must go through the battery charge circuit before it gets to the CPU or anything that would be my guess if it works now at least if it doesn't work now we'll have to go rooting a bit further let's get the spring back in get in there get in there my san oh I see the spring though looks like it wants to go inside that part of the shoulder Let's try that. Get it on the shoulder first. Ah! Can't believe I've not uh, not torn down there. I had to work really on a DS. So 
It sort of seemed to me that you'd they almost have so many more bits, touch screen, whatever, whatever they they're going to break more easily. But uh, I've been lucky. To be fair, I've been pretty lucky all round with uh, my Nintendos. Okay, that looks like it's doing what it's supposed to do. Is there a way of testing it without firing it all, uh, putting all the case back on? I think so. I'm just going to hold it this way gingerly. Pop our power in. Power is in. I saw the light just flash on and then flash off, which is a bit worrying. Fuse is still intact, which is good. Try that again. Yeah, the light does come on and goes off, but may maybe it requires a battery to be in there, so I think we'll have to just put the case on a little bit further. That's not too bad. That wasn't any effort at all. So now we've got a battery in. Let's see what it's doing. Yay! So it seems to be alive now. So that is how you change <laughs> Fuse F2. And in terms of our DS inspection, I think we're uh, ready to proceed to the next stage, which is to reshell this. And I'm really glad to see how easy at least that part of the shell was to remove. It just sort of fell off practically. So that's going to be super fun when we come to actually do this. So I had a search and I think I've just settled on a standard direct replacement silver and black case, but you can get different colored shells. They just sort of red and black, which I think might be the sort of Mario colors, but not as many as you, you might get for the SP. The SP seems to be the customizable Game Boy. With, uh, you can even get sort of Pokemon shells and different shells like that. But you know, I'm just going to go with stock. That's what I started with. I wanted a silver one when I saw it in the shops. That's what I bought. That's what I got. And I suspect, I haven't done the research, but I suspect the silver one probably was the most popular one because I remember at that time I, you only ever saw the silver one. So did, what colour did you have? Did you manage to find one that wasn't silver? I wonder what happened to the original la lanyard. I shall have to ask Maria. What happened to the lanyard, Maria? Because the lanyard was really cool because it had that little weird thumb thing that was supposed to be a sort of a controller. If you didn't want to uh, use the pen on the touch screen, you could use the weird little plastic thing. I can't remember exactly what they look like now. I can't remember if your thumb went into it, like one of those horrible Christmas cracker novelties or or it was just something like a like a pick, you know, you just pe like a guitar pl plectrum. Battery in, battery door closed, and you know they don't require you to use a trilobe uh, screw for the battery door, so that's good. No Nintendo security screw on that. Let's put in our nasty, nasty copy cartridge type thing, and Super Mario Kart. Let's just try to fire it up. Shush, no joy that time. Bit of power. Hmm. Let's remove the cartridges and try again. See, I could see the light actually was there, really dim. So I don't know, maybe it just needs to get some juice in the battery or something. Let's go through the let's go through the process anyway. Maybe there really is something up with this DS. Enter your nickname. B A C K. <laughs> Confirm. I wonder if there's actually a uh, calibration. It does seem a bit strange. Oh, today's date. I'll just roll with it. You gotta roll with it. Yeah, it's midnight. Yeah. That's my birthday. So 
So it's restarting, hopefully. Come on. You can do it. Hmm, I had to turn it on then. So it didn't restart itself. Right. You can hear the clock ticking. Got the game pad. I'm just uh, game pack rather. I have inserted the pack. Mm. Hasn't recognized it, but I don't know if it ever did. So I'm going to try this with the bottom one. Oh, it's unhappy. Really doesn't like this. Yahoo! That seems all right, though. I mean, it's Mario's working. So that's weird. Let's let's try again with this. I'm just going to take the cartridge out of this like that. We'll just use it as a an empty thing. Ooh! Oh, but it came on. Super card. So let's see if we can get this compact flash card in there. Hmm. I'm thinking. Right. This is going to be my logic that this super duper card is drawing so much current it might have blown the fuse in this. Certainly not happy. Anyway, that seems to be working. So please leave any comments down below about that fusible, well, polyfuse, surface mount fuse, whatever you want to call it. Please click like and subscribe to this video if you're that way inclined. If you want to be updated when I actually do get around to reposting uh, a video on this when I reshell this, click the little bell icon in the subscribe box and then it will give you a little ping when I publish a video. As ever, thank you for watching.